You have received a dye testing notification saying that you need to have a dye test of your plumbing. What does that mean? What is going to happen? Why have I been selected? These are common questions that we will answer in this short video. The reason for dye testing is to confirm how the pipes from your building connect to the sewer piping in the street. Typically, there are two different sets of pipes in the street. The sanitary sewer, this is where your toilets, sinks, showers, and washing machines connect. The sewer takes your wastewater to the wastewater treatment plant. The second system is the storm drain. The storm drain conveys rainwater from catch basins to the closest body of water, untreated. All sewage should go to the sanitary sewer. Unfortunately, this is not always the case. The dye test will allow the crew to determine which system your building connects to. It will also show if there are infrastructural issues with the pipes leaving your building or in the street. When the crew comes to conduct the test, what do they need to do? One person will stay outside of the building. They will open the manholes that cover the sewer and the storm drain. This is a storm drain manhole. This is a sewer manhole. The other crew member will come into your building. They will start out by taking a look at the plumbing in your basement. They are going to be looking for your sanitary stack. This is a cast iron or PVC like the one shown here, sewer stack for this building. They will look to determine if all of the pipes from your building connect to the same pipe. If they do, then they will only test one fixture in the building. If there are multiple pipes leaving the building, or if the crew is unable to see how your plumbing connects, they will need to test multiple fixtures. Don't worry if you have a finished basement, or if you don't have access to the basement. These situations are common. The crew will use their judgment to determine what needs to be tested. The dye used is non-toxic tracing dye. It's basically very strong food coloring. It is safe and will not cause any damage or staining, even if it's slow to drain, as you can see from the sink that we tested. The dye will turn the water bright pink or bright yellow. If the crew needs to, they will flush your toilet a number of times or run water in your sink for a few minutes so that the dye leaves your building. The crew member out in the street will be checking both the sewer and the drain. They will be able to see the dye flow through the pipes like this. This confirms which pipe your building connects to. Once the dye is seen, usually in the sewer like this one, they will wait at the other pipe, usually the drain, to confirm that no dye is seen. If dye is seen in the sewer and the drain, this would indicate an infrastructure problem. Typically, the crew member will be inside of your building for less than 10 minutes. I hope this answers your questions. Thanks for your time.